A warm welcome to all of you in my new data analytics project video in which I did some data analysis on IMDB movie dataset. So let's move ahead. So what is the problem statement is like we have to find the factors which are affecting the movie's growth and some factors which should be avoided for a better movie. Okay, factors may be like uh, duration of that movie, the actors in that movie, the IMDb score of that movie affects the movie's growth. So the tools and technologies used for this project are Microsoft Excel. Excel is a powerful tool for analysis and visualization. Excel, with the help of Excel, we can perform data analysis using descriptive statistics such as uh, mean, median, mode and all that stuff and also we can prepare charts and graphs. So in our data set we did some data cleaning but before that we have to see the data set what it is. This is our data set which includes several number of columns like a Facebook likes of directors actors, color, you can see here are many useful columns like color, director likes, Facebook likes that are not needed. So we have to remove it. It is the first part of our data cleaning. So I did it and these are the, all the columns I deleted and kept this column like movie title is important, director name generals duration gross, budget, language and IMDb score. Then the next we also removed some duplicate rows. Okay. Then the task one is that uh, movie genre analysis. I analyzed the movie genre. First of all the genre is in mixed format. I do observe it. It is in mixed format. Like action dash adventure dash from fantasy dash okay so you know task one I separated it okay yeah, genre drama comedy in a single way then I count it using the count counting function okay so I counted the total columns selected this range and then I separated it using the drama I want to find drama from this range how how much times it occurs so it will count for it it counted for 1911 likewise we can drag and pound all that genre then we found the descriptive analysis with mean median mode min max variation okay so here we can see the drama total drama genre is having mean of 6.8 like we can drag and drop all the columns sorry all the all the rows the uh, formula for it is average if median if mode if on this formula we can place in that and we can get that insights so our task 2 is a movie duration analysis ok so the duration of that movie is an important factor yes so we found some insights that the mean of mean, mean means the average ok so average of that all the movies in data set is a 109 minutes the median is 105 ok so it tells us that the main during duration being higher than the median such as that the some movies are longer in the data set than the mean than the median ok under uh, standard deviation suggests us the moderate degree of variability in the data set it comes to 22.76 data points on every duration but it is the relation between duration and IMDb score. We can 
found out insights like uh, see, above this point many of the movies above the IMDb score of 5 are having the duration 150 plus or 120 plus so the movies should at least have a duration of 120 to 130 to have a greater achievement okay so here it is how I found it Task 3 was a language analysis. We found that which uh, the movies are in which language the mostly. So we find, found that the English language movies are more in count than the French, Spanish, of course. But the mostly movies are in English. Okay. It is a huge difference between English and all the movies. Okay. Here the list of movies in our data set. There are only 36 movies. Sorry, 36 languages of movies. In the, we counted that movies with a counting function and drag it all. Let us see. Then the mean, median, and standard deviation of IMDb scores are found like we did it already in the task 1 we have to use the same formula for it here the formula again then the task 4 was director analysis we identified the best directors in the data set so the best directors will be like uh, their average IMDB score is high they are the best directors so that they produce the good movies best movies you can say so here we found that John Blanchard is the director with which is having the average IMDB score so high that is 9.5 out of 10 okay and rest all of them are listed here that is also found using that average function of IMDB score this is the formula used average F's we can use uh, many of the formulas for that same task. I use average ifs, you can use uh, average if, or you can use the sum product and average if, the mixture of all the formulas you can use it. 90% of the directors are having the IMDB scores less than 7.5. Rest of the 10% 10, uh, 10 of the directors are having the average IMDB scores above 7.5 so 7.90% uh, means 218 directors ok and they are considered as the top most directors of that industry the last task was of budget analysis so we have to find the correlation between the gross earnings and the budget to get the profit of that movie so I did it using the Corel function in which I selected that gross column and budget column and found out the correlation between them that is 0 0.096 so it is nearly close to 0 so if the value is uh, nearly close to 0 then it is suggesting a weak positive correlation as it is a slighter to the upper side so we can say it is as a, a weak positive correlation okay if it was in minus then we will say it is a negative correlation that that uh, gross and earnings don't have linearity they are non-linear if the budget increases then also the gross earning increases likewise the profit also increases then I found the top 10 highest profit generated movies 
you can see I, count, I counted that using gross minus budget this is the formula for counting the profit okay so likewise I did it for all the movies and sorted it you can see that author movie is having the highest profit than Pirates of Caribbean, Spectra, Dark Knight and all that's it thank you